Diagonal Scale Let's learn about the diagonal scale in this video. Diagonal scale is a type of scale, which is used to measure three different dimensions at the same time. That is the main unit and its immediate two subdivisions. For example, if we take a decimeter as the main unit, its immediate two subdivisions are, centimeter and millimeter. Diagonal scale gives a more accurate measurement than the plane scale. For example, the plane scale can measure 4.5 units, but cannot accurately measure up to 4.56 units, as there are no further subdivisions in the plane scale. As the diagonal scale contains two subunits, it can measure up to two decimal values, for example, 4.56. Let's see how to construct a diagonal scale for the following problem. Construct a diagonal scale with, representative fraction RF of 3 to 200, showing meters, decimeters and centimeters. The scale should measure up to 6 meters. Show a distance of 4.56 meters. From the problem, we already know that RF is equals to 3 by 200. And maximum length ML is 6 meters. Now we need to find the length of the scale. For that, we have to use the following formula, for the length of the scale LOS. Substitute RF and maximum length ML in this equation. Then we get the length of the scale as 9 cm. So now let's draw a line of length 9 cm, as LOS, and name it, AB. Now give a rectangular shape to the scale, to make it look like a scale, and name other ends as DC and divide the line AB into 6 equal parts, as the maximum length to be measured is 6 meters. Here each section measures 1 meter. We can now mark the main units, as 0 to 5 to the right of the scale. Mention the main unit meters, to the right of the scale. And mention RF in the middle. Follow the same procedure that we have followed in the plane scale, to divide the line into equal parts. Name the zeroth line as E. Now we have to divide the first section into the immediate smaller units of meters, that is, decimeters. As, 1 meter is equal to 10 decimeters, divide the first section into 10 equal parts, exactly as we have done in the plane scale. But here we draw the line from intersection point to the point, 0, using a mini drafter. Name it as the point F. Keeping the drafter fixed, we draw all nine lines from their intersection points, parallel to each other. Here each division indicates one decimeter, let's number them from 1 to 10, towards left, from 0. Now, we have completed showing main units and subunits, that is meters and decimeters. Then how do we represent the centimeters on the scale? Well, we may get a doubt that why we have joined the lines diagonally for subunits. There is a reason for that. In order to represent centimeters on the scale, we need to divide the decimeter section into 10 equal parts, because 1 decimeter is equals to 10 centimeters. But it doesn't look good and we might actually can't see them, as they will be very close. So, we have to think in a different way to represent centimeters. That is, we can choose the left portion of the scale AD to represent centimeters. So, just divide the line AD into 10 equal parts, by following the same procedure, as we have done for the earlier divisions. Draw the line from the last arc to the top line of the scale. Keeping the drafter fixed, draw all remaining lines. Here, we can see that the left portion got divided into 10 equal parts. Now draw horizontal lines from the intersection points. Then we can see, how the 1 decimeter section, that is FE has got divided into 10 equal parts. We know, that FE is 1 decimeter, that is 10 centimeters. As we go down along the portion, the length decreases by 1 centimeter. So, the next line length becomes 9 centimeters. Next 8 centimeters, and it continues till 1 centimeter and finally 0 centimeters. Now we can name them as 0, 1, and so on till 9 from the bottom of the scale. These are nothing but subunits of the subunits, that is centimeters. And this is why we have drawn the lines diagonally. 
Now, with diagonal scale, we can measure up to two decimal points, that is 4.56. To do that, first draw a line from 0 to 4 meters in the scale, that is 4 meters as shown. Still 0.56 meters remaining, that is 5 decimeters and 6 centimeters. Now choose the point where 5 decimeters and 6 centimeters meet, as shown, and draw the line from that point to the zero. Finally that measures 4.56 meters accurately with the diagonal scale. In this video, we have learned about the diagonal scale and its merits.